Welcome to another studio vlog. My name is Veronica Porlier and I'm an illustrator. I am recording an intro to this vlog that you're currently watching because I realized that I always forget to record an intro and an outro. I mostly remember an outro, but I always forget the intro. I like never say who I am. So yeah, hi. This vlog is a lot of prepping for well i guess rewind vlog actually starts in november which I, which is before i went on my trip to new york so i was prepping crazily for my december shop update so it has some of november and some of december so far but yeah i hope you enjoyed this vlog and i will see you at the end because i'm going to record the end now because i will forget to record one later so I might as well just have it now and ready. Okay. Hi, it is, what day is it? November 15th? Yeah, and I'm crazily prepping for my shop update, which will probably be December 3rd if I get everything done before then. So I'm kind of scrambling right now. If you can't tell from my voice, I'm sick. So this doesn't help me right now because because <sighs> I have so much to do um, before I go on a trip. I'm going to New York on like two days after Thanksgiving to go visit two of my friends who live there right now. And yeah, so I'm really excited to go kind of take a break, but it was kind of last minute, honestly, because I didn't, like, I literally, we bought tickets, like, probably two weeks ago, because I just, like, spur of the moment was like, I want to go see them. And it's just me by myself going, and so it's the first time I've ever gone on a plane by myself, so I'm kind of nervous that I'm going to just happen to be on the one plane that crashes or something, because that's just my luck. <sighs> yeah, so we'll see how it goes. I'm a little nervous about it, but I know I'll be okay. Hopefully, um, but yeah, I've been working on my shop update, which is gonna be like later than normal. I don't like to have my shop updates or my Christmas shop update like in December. Cause I remember my very first year of having a shop, I had a Christmas update in December and I got like no orders that, <laughs> that year. And I feel like it like traumatized me in a way, like not traumatized me, but like, it like scarred me where I'm just like, I never want to have a shop update in December because no one's going to buy anything. And so I'm honestly like low key kind of nervous, but I don't know. I'm just going to act like it's a normal shop update. Um, and it's just still later than I would like it to be because I would like people to have like their holiday stuff like way in advance so they can like journal and do whatever they want with it or send it out. But I think it'll still be early enough to where it's like not that big of a deal hopefully but if I'm gonna have it on the third then that means I have to have every single thing done before I leave on my trip in like a week basically <sighs> so I think I have mostly everything like designed maybe there's still like two sticker sheets that I need to finish drawing um, but all the other ones I've already drawn I'm trying to think of like what else I need to do I don't know but Right now what I'm working on is these little mini cards that I designed. Where's my stack? So I'm gonna have a little Christmas card set for people. Um, they'll be in a set of 12 in these little mini envelopes. There's green and red. And I designed these little like mini cards. Let me see if it'll like focus on them. So there's this little snowman one. Oh, there's this little snowman one and they're little like cards, so. And then there is this Christmas tree. Also, I just got my nails done. Yep. This one's my favorite one. This one is a little house, like a little gingerbread house. Yeah, so it's a little gingerbread house. And then there is a little gingerbread man. There'll be 12 cards in each set. And right now I'm 
<sighs> trying to make a, a video, I guess, of it and assembling it. I think I'm going to wrap them all in these little, in this like velvety ribbon um, just to make it look pretty. So yeah, that's what I'm doing right now. I realized that I need to like not only have everything done before next week, but I need to also make all of my promo videos here, like advertisement videos um, here, which I could also, I think I will probably take some of my stuff with me to New York and make some content there too. Um, but I really need to get all the stickers printed out and everything. But uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm just gonna start working. Speak to the court about Charlotte being released. I'm asking for five minutes with you. Five minutes to explain. I will bring you home from Charlotte. part of Christmas. This is my little Christmas setup. So far, I always like to have this little section with um, little snacks and stuff for visitors. So right now I have a bunch of little, so I have this little tree thing, my favorite mug in the whole world that I've ever found, the little Debbie's. Hello, hello. So I randomly decided to make this little segment showing you how I make sticker sheets. I'm going to try to explain it the best that I can, but I am very bad at explaining things. Um, but yeah, so essentially you start off with two layers. You have your actual sticker sheets layer, like the actual cutout stickers, and then you have your bleed layer. And so you have two separate files. And then the first thing I do is I usually import the bleed file, and then I create a rectangle in the size that I want it to be for my sticker sheet. I usually do six by three so I can fit three on one like whole sticker paper. Um, and then I'll put the bleed layer on top of the rectangle and then I'll flatten them so that when the Cricut cuts, it'll just cut the rectangle out. It won't cut all of like, it won't cut the image out, I guess, basically. It'll just cut the big rectangle. And then after I do that, I import the actual stickers and I have to match it with the bleed layer. So I, and this is just how I cut my sticker sheets, I guess. I, I don't really have like regular bleed, I guess. I have full bleed stickers most of the time. Um, and then I'll usually check it to make sure that it fits properly inside of the bleed. And then after I do that, I'll um, control all and I'll merge or what is it called? I'll attach it. And so that um, it'll just kind of tell your Cricut that those are together, I guess. And then you duplicate it three times. And then once I duplicate it, I attach all of them together. So control all and then attach. Um, and it should cut the sticker sheets out correctly. Um, and then I usually will send it to print and I use the system dialog. I don't use like the Cricut settings and I don't add bleed either. You turn off the bleed and then I'll print it. And then for my material, I use uh, the sticker paper, the printable sticker paper white. Um, you do have to like figure out your own Cricut settings. You can't really like tell people like your specific Cricut settings because every Cricut is different. Like the blades are different and all that stuff. So um, you kind of just have to play around with it for a while. Um, so then I load it and then I press the little Cricut button. Um, also make sure it's on the custom setting. 
and um, it should cut out the stickers like that. This is a pretty like basic explanation, like quick how to cut stickers. If you want more in-depth video, I can make one. Um, but yeah, that was my best attempt at explaining how to cut sticker sheets that fast. But yeah, this is how this sticker sheet came out. Um, comment if you want a better video. <laughs> Now this is the whole collection for the 15 tier. It is, oh my gosh, what day is it? November 22nd and I'm sick. <laughs> so last night I like almost didn't sleep at all and I was just super, like I was just like super hot and like, I don't know, like you basically, I guess having like chills kind of and like I had like a fever in the middle of the night and I was just like, I literally, don't have time to get sick. I have so much to do. I like barely slept. I think I got up around like four maybe and like I could not fall back asleep because I was just like tossing and turning. Like my head was just hurting so bad. I don't know, eventually I just kind of was like, okay. It was like 6.30 and I was like, I am not falling back asleep. I'm just gonna stay up. And I honestly felt kind of bad. Like, well, obviously like I was feeling sick and I don't know what it is either. I know like right now the flu is going around and, and so I was like, I hope I don't have the flu because Thanksgiving's in like today's Tuesday Thanksgiving is this Thursday and me and Austin are hosting this year um, we really wanted to like have something for my family like just because we my family is not like planner type people and they don't like hosting very much or at least my parents it's just like we don't often get to like all just sit down and like have a meal together I guess and so or at least me because I don't live there but I live near my parents um well I only live like 20 minutes away whatever but we wanted to make like an actual tradition for like holidays and stuff and just be better at it and whatever <sighs> so we're hosting it at our house for the first time and I'm kind of nervous about it because I since I woke up sick last night I'm like oh my gosh am I gonna miss like, I don't know, like, I feel like it would just screw up so many things because we're, we're making the turkey and the ham and I'm like, if I'm sick, like, obviously I don't want them to come over to my house, like, and get everybody else sick and so I'm just kind of like, please, like, I hope this just passes whatever it is because I don't think I have, like, the flu or anything like that. And then this Saturday, I'm going to New York to visit my friends. So I've been, like, super excited about going and all month I've been, like, preparing myself to go on the trip. So I'm like, oh, I would be so mad if I'm like, if I have the flu or something and then I'm like, I don't know, it's like well, I wouldn't want to go if I'm sick, you know? So I'm like, I think I'll be fine by then. Right now I feel fine. I took Tylenol and just been drinking fluids and stuff like that. 
and I feel like it helps me to like walk around and work on stuff rather than like I was kind of just like laying in bed earlier but I honestly felt worse like just laying in bed so I was like okay let me just start getting up and like as I've been getting up and like working on stuff it's actually helped me to feel more like normal so I'm kind of like okay maybe I just needed to like get up out of bed and like I don't know but I feel better right now in other news oh yeah yesterday I got my first wholesale order and so I'm like super excited it'll be um I don't know or if you don't know what wholesale is it's basically it's like a lot of times like little shops in like different parts of whatever the world I guess the country um like little stationary shops like that have like a um I'm not explaining this well basically there's like little shops like physical stores where I'm sure maybe some of y'all have been to where there's like different artists um like kind of in the same shop if that makes sense and the shop will buy stickers from an artist and sell them to the public I don't know that was like the worst definition ever um anyways but I got my first order or wholesale order and I will be in a little shop in Canada um it's called like Sunnyside stationery I think um, but yeah I'm super excited or I don't have like a wholesale thing like set up or whatever but they reached out to me and asked if I was open to doing wholesale and I was like yeah like I've been wanting to do wholesale for a while but I just never like got around to like making a website or like making a template thing to show to people I'm super excited about doing this because I don't know it's just really cool but I also was like okay I need to like put some like stickers or something on it so that like people if my name is because my name is on like the sticker sheets but on the actual die cut stickers my name isn't on it and so I'm going to make little stickers to put on the back of the stickers so that people know that it's my stickers if that makes sense so that's what I'm doing right now It moves up and down. No, why? <laughs> That's trash. I didn't turn it on. So I went to New York on my trip 
Um, I have no idea if I talked about it previously, um, but I went to New York to visit my friends. Now I need to start packing all the orders. Um, it wasn't my best shop update, but I kind of expected it because I it was late and I only had sticker sheets for sale. So it's not like much of a variety for people, but it still did like okay, I guess. Um, better than nothing, I guess. But yeah, I need to start packing all the orders and cutting everything and writing everything and so I feel a little overwhelmed today actually. Oh my god, my plant is dying. You know, I left Austin to take care of my plants while I was gone. Yeah, I need to like, I'm kind of overwhelmed right now um, because everything's really messy in here. I just kind of left it a mess before I left because I was like rushing to finish everything before I left. And yeah, it really stresses me out when stuff like isn't organized and clean. And Austin's also painting our spare room because it needs to be painted. It's the last room in the house and it needs to be painted. <sighs> so all the stuff that was in that room is in our regular, in our bedroom and in the living room. And that's also stressing me out because it's messy. I'm very clean and organized. And like June is literally laying right now. And look, I'll show you. She's laying on a bunch of Christmas lights that I forgot to put away, which I used to take photos. And all of this is a mess too. And all of that's a mess. This side is always trash, which I need to figure out how to organize it. And now my plan is dying. That being said, I have a lot to do. So I'm gonna be working probably top speed for the next few days because it's also I want to get everyone their Christmas stuff before it's too late so yeah I gotta go so yeah I'm watching Pretty Little Liars right now and right now Ezra just told or Ezra and Aria if you didn't haven't seen it before Aria is in this group of friends who, I can't even explain it to you because it's too much. Aria's dating her high school teacher. And it's funny like now watching it as an adult because I'm like, that's illegal. <laughs> but like in the show, you're like, you're like fighting for them. You're like fighting with them so that they can like, work out but then like now watching it as an adult every year I feel like now it's like more clear where I'm like you know better than that Ezra right now in this episode they just told Arya's parents that they were dating and that you know they're in love with each other and I'm like and they're shocked for some reason that her parents are mad I'm like what did you expect Okay, and I feel like I need to discuss this with somebody. My life has been consumed by um, Pure Little Liars the past like month. I have also like looked up what the books were like. What am I doing first of all? But I like looked up what like the books were like. But, yeah, so I looked up what the books are like because Pure Little Liars is based off of a book. And I'm like, the books are even crazier too. But I wish that the show followed the books more because if you've seen Pretty Little Liars, you know that the final episode of like the entire show is like, it sucks because you're like, I don't even want to say it because some of you, let me put this up. Some of you may not have seen Pretty Little Liars and perhaps you want to watch it one day. The finale of Pretty Little Liars, it's a flop. That's what I'm going to say. When I first saw it too, the villain, the final villain, A, dumb. Arya's wedding dress, hideous. Arya and Ezra get married. I'm like, what does that tell your high school audience that watches this? That they can date their high school teachers and get married and live happily ever after. And I'm like, should we be teaching kids that? I don't know. But I can't stop watching it. It's like my go-to, like, behind, like, my, my background. TV show that I watch <sighs> so yeah I need to be faster at packing I'm being so slow I'm gonna stop recording
tie in. Um, it is the end of the vlog. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I have no idea how long this was, so I hope it was entertaining and that you were able to have it playing in the background, perhaps while you work. It's now a few days until Christmas, so I hope you have a Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays. Also, a Happy New Year because I probably won't post probably maybe a new video until next year, maybe. Although I have a lot of October footage that I never edited, so I might actually edit all of that right after I edit this vlog and record a super late or edit a super late Halloween vlog. And I actually really like all of the footage I recorded in October. So I'm like, I want to use it. Like I, I literally was like mid deleting all of the files and I was like, should I really delete all this? Because I feel like this is still worth trying to edit, even if it's super late. And I feel like people would watch it anyways. Tell me if you would or not. And it may not matter what you say actually because I might be currently editing it as this one is being uploaded or while you're watching this right now. So I guess we'll see. But yeah, I hope you have a nice end of your year. I hope that next year brings a lot of good things, nice things. I don't know. I do want to give a quick shout out to my patrons. I'm so grateful for you. Thank you so much for supporting me and if you don't know you can get I guess more behind the scenes. You can sign up to get Happy Mail every month. Um, I have a $7 and a $15 tier for stickers and more stickers basically. So yeah, if you would like to support me outside of my shop, feel free to support me. But if not, totally fine. But yeah, I will see you in the next vlog. Again, thank you for watching and I will talk to you soon. Bye!